Sophia Cruz with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Good morning everyone, it is Wednesday and for some of us the first day back to school and I want to say happy first day to all the students and teachers returning. I know first days can be nerve wracking but we'll all get it through together and it will be okay. But before we start talking about the week ahead, I want to talk about the current fire situation that we're seeing. We've had several wildfires caused because of lightning and dry thunderstorms that have came through. Now here's an update on the paddock fire at 60% containment. So that rain yesterday really helped and aided in containing some of the fires. But the ones I want to really focus on are some of these other ones over here. Bulldog Middle Fork Complex and another one. So notice I want to point out that this is about 2,000 acres, burning about 5,000 over here, and below here, just a little at about 1,000. Now, I want to also point out with this fires, these specific three, this is going to be the causation of why we'll start to gradually see the smoke build back in. So if you're in any of these areas and you want to make sure and stay up to date on these fires, you can go ahead and contact your local county sheriff's office and we will keep you up to date right here with them as well. Now, I also want to point out that those three fires sitting and hovering between Tamarack, Cascade, and I know city that smoke plume. So that is where majority of the smoke is hovering over. As we start to head into six o'clock, that'll shift off to our east. Stanley, you guys are going to gradually see that smoke build back in today. Now, heading into tomorrow, that is when we'll start to notice it come down into the valley, specifically the Boise area. Notice that it's going to start to really just hover between Weezer all the way down to Mountain Home. So just keep in mind, smoke is gradually building back in. Tomorrow, you'll more than likely notice it on the way to work. Now, temperatures on your way out the door today, or for the kiddos heading into school, temperatures are going to be sitting in those mid-60s, so it's a cooler start to our day. But by this afternoon, we will see a little bit of that heat return. We'll be sitting between and hovering between that upper 80 and 90 mark in our mountains a little bit cooler 70s and upper 80s on the board. Now, in terms of what we're tracking for our rain chances, we have a pretty good chance for seeing some rain and showers on Thursday. This is about 60 50 percent between the Treasure Valley, a little higher way up towards Stanley and Ketchum. But let me show you what this actually looks like. So this is for today. This goes into three o'clock, maybe some isolated showers here across the salmon area. But tomorrow morning, we'll start to see Oregon see some of these showers, stronger storms. Then into our afternoon, notice that a lot of it is focused towards that higher terrain, McCall, Cascade, Salmon, and near Ketchum. Now, this isn't really widespread rain. I want to point out if the Treasure Valley does see some, it will be later into the overnight hours or into the early morning. So just prepare for that. It doesn't look like it'll be affecting any of our morning commutes or our afternoon commutes, but something to take note of. Now, our temperature outlook, if you're tired of seeing this back and forth pattern between these 80s and 90s, it does look like we're gonna start seeing a nice cool down as we make our way into August and into the later half of the week. Notice that we're starting to see some of these lighter colors come over. That means a cool down is starting to take an effect as we make our way into September. Now that's a little ahead, but taking a look at this week now, now, 89 today as we head into the afternoon. Those chances of storms for tomorrow and the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, drying us out a bit and the heat ramping up with temperatures returning to the mid 90s. Now, it is the first day of back to school. Happy first day of back to school if you're heading out today. But if you are heading out, here's what 